Okay, so you're thinking about making a move, relocating somewhere in the Seattle area, but you don't know where you're gonna move to. You're looking for a place that's not gonna break the bank, but still has really nice homes and plenty of stuff to do. Well, I think I might've found a great option for you to consider, and that's where we're at today. We're in Mill Creek, Washington. Great, great neighborhood, about 25 miles north of Seattle. Lots of stuff to do, a ton of outdoor activities and affordable housing right here in Mill Creek. Today, we're gonna take a complete vlog tour. I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about Mill Creek, take you through shops, restaurants, where you're gonna be hanging out, what there is to do. And if you stick around till the end, we're gonna take a look at the real estate here in Mill Creek, what you can expect for that average home that you're gonna get here. So if that's something that you're interested in, you wanna learn more about, stick around, because we're getting after it right now. Okay, we'll get back outside in just a minute, but real quick, I wanted to just take a second, show you exactly where Mill Creek is on the map, just so you know, kind of proximity-wise, where it is to Seattle, where it is to Bellevue. I'm gonna show you a couple other things that I think you should know about in the Mill Creek area. So let's jump in here real quick. After that, we'll get right back outside and show you what Mill Creek is all about. Okay, you'll see Mill Creek here, red dotted line up towards the top of the map. And Mill Creek is about 26, 27 miles north of Seattle and Bellevue. So you'll see Seattle over here on the west side, Bellevue over here on the east side. And it's probably about a 35 to 40 minute commute if we're talking no traffic. So if things are flowing smoothly, you can get there pretty pretty easily. Uh, if we're talking rush hour traffic, that commute can easily turn into 60, 90 minutes, depending on how bad traffic is. So, you know, depending on how often you would need to go into Seattle, you know, it's not going to be very convenient. But if that's just something you're doing once, twice a week, maybe, then I could see that being a little bit more manageable. Because, um, you, you know, you're, you're probably going to be spending at least two to three hours a day in the car if you're commuting to Seattle or Bellevue every day. Bellevue is gonna be a little bit easier. Let me show you how you get into each one of these cities here real quick. So Mill Creek, we can jump over to I-5. I-5 runs north and south, and we just take that head down all the way. Pretty, pretty simple, not a whole lot to it. You just get off on the 164th Street exit here in, uh, in Linwood, and then it just takes you right down, drops you down into Mill Creek. So not too bad. Uh, with going into Bellevue, you have a couple more options. You can either go over to I-5, drop down here to 405, where it branches off. Oops, getting a little squirrely there. Uh, branches off and then heads down. You can drop down into Redmond, Kirkland, Bellevue that way. Uh, you also have another option here. You could go uh, Bothell Everett Highway, Highway 527, straight down to Mill Creek. And it really just depends on how traffic is flowing, which way is quicker. You know, a lot of the times when I map those routes, they end up being about the same. So I guess it's just kind of preference. You know, Bothell Everett Highway can get a little bit backed up during rush hour traffic. You know, this this blue stretch right here, it can it can take you some time to to get north and south. You know, when those uh, peak rush hour commute times are. So keep that in mind. And uh, you know, like I said, if you're trying to do that commute every day, not going to be pretty. Um, maybe if you work in Everett, you know, that's going to be a lot more manageable for you. So it just depends on where you're going, of course, and you know where where your uh, commute takes you. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is David Saffenfield. I'm a local Seattle area real estate agent. And on this channel, we make new videos every week about what it's like to live, work, eat, play right here in Seattle and surrounding areas like where we're at today in Mill Creek. And if that's something that you'd like to learn more about, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market right here in Seattle. And you know, hey, if you're thinking about making that move, make sure you reach out to us. Our contact information's popping up on the screen right now. You know, whether you're moving next week, next year, never too early to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule that quick 30 minute buyer consultation love to get you pointed in the right direction and make sure you're on the right track to getting settled down right here in Seattle. So hey, let's get back to the video and I'll see you there. 
Okay, let's zoom in a little bit closer here into Mill Creek. And, you know, Mill Creek's not that big of a city. Uh, it's population is right around 21,000, you know, and that was from census data from 2020. So I'm, I would imagine that number is a little bit bigger at least. Uh, so, you know, 20, 21,000 right around there. So smaller city and, uh, but there's a lot to do in Mill Creek. So uh, it definitely is, you know, has that small town feel, but as you'll see, as we you know get into this video, there's just a lot of stuff to do. Uh, very family friendly community, lots of stuff to do for the kids, lots of stuff to do for parents, the adults. Uh, so let's, let's just kind of get into that a little bit here. So for starters, we're talking about parks, okay? So that's one thing about Mill Creek. One thing that people absolutely love about Mill Creek is the number of parks that are pretty much everywhere. Okay, I'll just kind of zoom in on these areas. You'll see these little green trees here. These are parks uh, right there, right there, right there, Highlands Park. So those go up to the north section of Mill Creek here. You can just see all these trees here. These are all little pocket neighborhood parks, some of them bigger than others, of course, but you know, you can just see there is a ton of parks to go let the kids play on toys, get outside, uh, trails, you know, if you're into hiking, Mill Creek has like 23 miles of hiking trails, you know, great for talk, uh, taking the dog out for a walk and doing that, but you know, outdoor activities, uh, you have a lot to choose from in that Mill Creek area. And speaking of outdoor activities, you know, one of the popular areas, you know, this, this is right smack dab in the middle of Mill Creek is the Mill Creek Country Club. And if you're a golfer, this is, this is a, a great, great golf course. It is a private course, so members only. Um, they do offer different membership options. It's, um, you know, a golf membership. There's also just a social membership if you wanted to take advantage of the clubhouse and, you know, some of the, the activities that the Country Club puts on, you know, I know they put like wine tasting events and other parties like that. So if you're interested in the social membership without the golf, you know, that's definitely a little bit cheaper. So a uh, couple different options there, but really nice golf course, um, tall trees, um, tight fairways, but it's, it's a really nice, it's a nice course. So if you do enjoy golf, I would definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, if you're into tennis, right in the same parking lot as the country club here, there's the Mill Creek Tennis Club. And that is, uh, there's three indoor courts and then there's, I think it's three indoor and then there's three outdoor courts as well. So you can play inside, you can play outside. And uh, those are also uh, membership based. So you could join that club if you are a tennis player and get your tennis on indoors or out, outside, whatever works for you uh, and then we zoom in a little bit here here you see west coast aquatics this is a uh, pool uh, if you're looking to get the kids into swim lessons or join a swim team you know you can definitely do that here uh, nice pool and uh, just kind of check out the pictures here but yeah there's uh, Really nice, really nice pool. Nice to have right there in Mill Creek. And, uh, you know, and that's just right across the street from the country club in the parking lot there. So lots to do. Like I said, just parks galore. Just, I mean, look at all these little green trees. These are all parks. So I, I feel like every little neighborhood and sub neighborhood in Mill Creek has <laughs> their own little pocket, pocket playground park there. So really, really convenient and um, stuff to do. Outdoor activities during the, you know, spring, summer months, really popular, of course. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's just a, a fantastic place to get outside. So if golf, tennis, or swimming isn't really your thing and you're not looking to go to the parks, you do have options outside of Mill Creek, okay? There's definitely some outdoor stuff that you can do. And if you're into fishing, you have 
quite a few good options here. Not, I won't say quite a few, but you have a couple really close good options. Uh, just to the west of Mill Creek, you have Martha Lake here. Smaller lake, uh, no motor boats, and like you, you can't do like water skiing or wakeboarding or anything on it, but fishing for sure. Uh, it's, it's great for fishing, um, great for just kind of hanging out at the lake, you know, the beach, you know, swimming, everything like that. So Martha Lake is a, a great place, and that's just, just west of Mill Creek in Linwood. Uh, and then if you wanted even another option here, just to the north of Mill Creek, you have Silver Lake. And again, a smaller lake, no power boats, no wakeboarding, no surfing, uh, skiing, anything like that, but you can fish on it. And there's a really nice playground here, this little green area right here is a really nice playground you have a picnic shelter set up in the area uh, there's a really good restaurant actually emery's on silver lake this place is fantastic great spot to go have a, a really good dinner um, yeah their, their food is really incredible and um, just a, a great spot to go have lunch go out dinner um, but yeah that's the silver lake just north of Mill Creek here. And, um, you know, like I said, if you're just looking for other outdoor activities, you know, you, you have, you have options outside of Mill Creek and, you know, you can see there's a bunch of other little lakes in the area and, uh, you know, just the whole Puget Sound region in general just has hiking, fishing, everything that you would ever need or want to do outside. You can do it here. Okay, let's talk about shopping, where you're gonna do your grocery shopping, where you're gonna go and eat at restaurants, coffee shops, dental, dental offices, you know, yoga studios, gyms, everything like that. That's all gonna be here on this western side of Mill Creek. And let's start here kind of in the southernmost section. Uh, right here, uh, there's a little shopping area. This is called Mill Creek Square. And you have uh, like a Mud Bay pet supply store, really nice kind of higher end pet supply store. Uh, you have a QFC and then all along here, like all along this whole area, you have uh, just kind of like strip mall, a uh, bunch of little little shops, little stores. Um, then across this way over here, you have a bunch of more little shops, little stores, more strip mall, you know, sandwich, sandwich shops, coffee shops, banks, everything. Uh, there's a gas station right here. Uh, here's a bank right here. And, you know, I'm not even sure what that is, uh, but, you know, lots of <laughs> lots of different choices just right there uh, in that Mill Creek Square. But if we head a little bit further north here, uh, right across the street, 164th is kind of that main drag that you'll take from I-5 and it'll drop you down into Mill Creek, um, separating, you know, the Mill Creek Square across the street here, you have a, a Safeway and another strip mall. Um, you have a Staples office supply store, uh, McDonald's, you have a Mod Pizza. Uh, you, there's a little teriyaki shop right there, but more banks and just kind of more, more strip mall activity right here. And, you know, it's, it's pretty much all over this whole area. You know, over here behind Safeway, you have more strip mall. Um, you know, more, more shopping areas all up here on this side, you know, you have just little office parks, little, little strip malls, little restaurants, great, great, you know, shopping that, you know, it's, it's all right there. And we're not even into Mill Creek town center yet. This is all just kind of South of Mill Creek town center. And, you know, if we look a little bit further North here, this, this little strip right here, this yellow section, this is Mill Creek town center. And probably what, you know, like I was saying, like, I think this is probably the best part of, you know, what, what makes Mill Creek awesome is Mill Creek Town Center. You know, there's almost 85 stores, you know, we'll get into that. I'm going to, I'm going to take you out to Mill Creek Town Center, kind of show you what you need to know about there. So I won't get too much into it. Um, Rusty Pelican, this is a really good restaurant. If you're looking for a fantastic breakfast option, check out Rusty Pelican. They're one of the best breakfast spots here in in Washington. This is a great chance for us to get out and let's go check out the Mill Creek Town Center. I wanna get you on the streets and show you what it's like and show you all the great restaurants and shops that you can find in the, in the town center. Okay, so one of the biggest reasons why people really love living here in Mill Creek is where we're standing or where we're walking through right now. We're at the Mill Creek 
Town Center. And down here is just a, a newer collection of over 85 different shops. And there's really a little bit of everything in Mill Creek Town Center here. There's really great restaurants, there's coffee shops, dental offices, you have yoga studios, uh, just a, a bunch of different little coffee roaster, coffee shops, and just a, a great place to come and hang out. Uh, me and the family, we live about 15 minutes away from here in Woodenville. We're up here all the time in the Mill Creek Town Center, just because there's, there's so much to do. There's grocery stores that you can shop at. Just really everything that you would need is right here right in the middle of the Mill Creek Town Center. Uh, actually walking by right now, this is my absolute favorite, well, maybe not favorite in the world, but I'd say top five restaurants, top five favorite restaurants. That's Azul, it's a, a Mexican restaurant here in Mill Creek Town Center. This is really why we come up here a lot, is just to go to Azul, one of the best Mexican restaurants that you can find right here in the Town Center. Uh, across the way over there, that's a really cool spot. That's the Lodge. It's a sports bar uh, slash restaurant. So really, really great area. Uh, there's even a 24 hour fitness. So uh, if you wanna you know, get a good workout, you got 24 hour fitness. Uh, like I mentioned, there's, there's yoga studios, uh, cookie shops, donut shops. I know Frost is a really good one. Uh, another really good Mexican restaurant, La Palmera. A little more traditional that's right down here but uh but yeah just you know like i said pretty much everything that you would ever need is going to be right there right here in this mill creek town center so um just all kinds of options banks you know restaurants just a ton of great food spots and uh yeah just a, a really really great place to hang out and probably the one of the biggest reasons why people really love living in Mill Creek is just being so close to all this great shopping and uh, just right here. So um, got another place I want to show you. It's just north of us a little bit here from the Mill Creek Town Center. So let's head up there and uh, I'll see you there. All right. Okay. If you're curious about what your kids are going to love about living in Mill Creek, you know, aside from all of the parks, outdoor activities and the great schools, well, right behind me here is Arena Sports, and uh, kids love this place. It is fantastic in there. It's uh, like a huge warehouse, and half of it is all soccer fields. So they actually have adult soccer leagues that you can join, as well as kids soccer leagues. But if you're an adult looking for a soccer league, they have those here at Arena Sports. Really nice field set up in there. But the other half of the facility, this is what the kiddos really love. It's all set up just for their entertainment, for their fun. So there's a section where there's a huge climbing wall. They have a indoor ropes course that they can go through and, you know, climb up near the ceiling and just really, really cool. Uh, a ton of video games. So big section where there's video games, little Papa shots, uh, just, you know, everything that the kids love to do. Uh, there's a big inflatable section. So if you have maybe littler kids that love to jump and bounce around on the inflatables, they can do that here. And there's actually miniature golf too. So you got a ton of stuff. Kids love it. Kids love to have birthday parties here or just come hang out on a, any kind of day, but especially on those kind of rainy Northwest days, this place is fantastic because it just helps them kind of get all of their energy out and it's just a fun place for them to do that. And you know, if, if you're looking for more of like a trampoline park, um, not in Mill Creek, it's in Bothell, but not too far away, probably about 10 or 15 minutes, there's a elevated sports, which is just a, a big trampoline park. So just, everything that you could do, bounce around indoors. Um, really cool, so elevated sports as well. And you know, like I said, just a ton of cool stuff to do for families here in Mill Creek. Very family friendly city to live in and your kids are gonna love it and I think you're gonna love it too. Okay, if you're planning on moving here to Mill Creek, I'm sure you're very curious about what the real estate is like here. And that's what we're gonna cover now. We're gonna talk about types of homes that you're gonna find here and price ranges, what they look like, what, what you can expect in that median home price for Mill Creek. But 
right now we are in a super nice neighborhood here right off of the country club so super close to the country club uh, probably one of the most desirable areas to live in mill creek is in and around near that country club area so most of the homes are you know single family homes you will find some town homes kind of nestled up right there on the golf course as well and condos of course but you'll see a ton of beautiful homes like you know the neighborhood that we're in right now the country club itself was built in the mid 70s so you started to see a lot of these neighborhoods pop up in the uh, late 70s most of the homes that are built here are going to be kind of early 80s 90s in that range um, throughout mill creek you know you will find some newer homes as well you know built after the 2000 2010 you know time range there but you know you're gonna see a lot of homes built in the 80s a lot of homes built in the 90s and you have a really good selection of townhomes condos single family homes you know pretty much whatever you're looking for whatever price point that you're trying to shop in you're gonna have really good options for whatever you're looking for whatever your budget is you're gonna be able to find it here in mill creek so it's really nice you know um like i said there's a ton of townhomes a ton of condos you know in the low 300 range you're gonna find that you know you're gonna find really big beautiful homes like the neighborhood we're in now you know 1.4 1.5 million dollars plus so good mix good variety whatever you're looking for you're gonna find it here but let's jump into my computer real quick let's head back to the office i want to show you all the homes that are on the market currently and just kind of what what's available and uh yeah i'll see you back at the office okay let's take a little bit of time and dive into the real estate in mill creek and if we're talking about the median sale price so home affordability you know like i mentioned it's definitely more affordable in mill creek you're going to find that good mixture of single family homes town homes condos pretty much any price range for any buyer so that's one of the things that's just so popular about mill creek is so many different people are able to afford places to live in mill creek if we're talking about single family residences the median sale price uh, or home value for a single family home is right around one million and eighty thousand if we're looking at condos it's going to be about half that you're looking at five hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars for condos you'll definitely find some condos cheaper than that you know maybe one bedroom you know smaller condos that are going to be well below that 500 but you know like i said a, a price point for every buyer but you know let's take a look at the homes that are on the market right now I, and we're going to take a look at eight real quick you know just kind of skim through them just to show you exactly what you're going to expect um, i think about half of them are condos the other half are going to be like single family homes so let's take a look at these real quick and uh, just kind of show you what what you can expect in you know in mill creek at these different price points Okay, so let's take a look at these houses here. We're going to start on the south side, work our way up north, and uh, just kind of see what we what we have to, to look at today. So right here, this big green area, this is, you know, part of that Mill Creek Country Club. Not all of this is Country Club. A lot of this is kind of like a private nature reserve, but, um, you know, lots of lots of homes kind of concentrated in and around that golf course area super nice homes love it that's probably the most desirable neighborhood or neighborhoods in the mill creek area so um, let's take a look at a condo we have here like i said we're going to go quick i'll just kind of skim through these don't want to you know give you too much boring information on this but you know we have a, a condo here like a town home we've got a two bedroom two and a half bath 1715 square feet uh, for 795 thousand dollars and this one is uh new on the market last week right on the golf course you see kind of in the backyard uh, a little dated nice little spiral spare, uh, staircase i like that but um, yeah you can kind of see this one just uh you know kind of the trim a little bit dated could use some some updates here and there some cabinetry uh, new countertops i like that so um yeah nice nice little town home two bedroom two and a half bath let's uh let's go to the next one here like i said we're just kind of starting south we'll work our way up here's another condo uh this is uh just kind of like a one level condo uh it's a three bedroom two bath so 
decent size condo, 1190 square feet, uh, listed for $530,000. And this one was built in 1991 with $595 uh, per month HOA dues. And you'll see this one looks like it's been kind of renovated pretty recently. Looks a little more modern than that last one. But um, yeah, nice, nice little condo right there in the country club community. Let's get out to the next one here. Looks like we have a single family home in that country club community there. And this one is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,556 square foot, good size lot. You know, and that's the nice thing about Mill Creek is you're gonna find homes. Um, some of them are gonna be on smaller lots, like the newer ones built in 2000s and later. But you know, a lot of these homes that are built, when was this built? 97 so yeah nice big 9100 square foot lot love that um, this one's listed for 1.3 million and let's take a look at some of the pictures real quick it looks like it's a nice just one story oh it might be a two-story here no it is a two-story okay so yeah nothing nothing crazy with the updates here but really a nice home in a beautiful neighborhood Really nice. Okay, let's get out to the next one here. So that takes us over here. So this is the Mill Creek Town Center right here. This home is, you can pretty much crawl over to Mill Creek Town Center, which is really nice. Uh, this is, a, it, it says it's a condo. Yeah, it's a condo, but it's a looks like it's a detached condo, which pretty much looks like a, a single family home. You couldn't really tell by looking at it, but it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,069 square foot, um, you know, just, just shy of a 3,000 square foot lot, listed for $840,000. So let's take a look at the pictures here. So really nice, clean little place. Looks like it's been updated very nicely. Nice, I like the, the privacy here behind out, out the kitchen in the living room here. You don't have neighbors staring into your, into your home. I like that. Uh, this one was built in 2006 with uh, $640 a month, uh, $640 per month HOA dues, which kind of covers the exterior of the home. So um, that's where your condos, you know, will vary a little bit from your single family homes because, you know, with a condo, you don't have to worry about the, the exterior maintenance. Um, oh, let's get back into the map here. So if we head this way a little bit, we have another single family home. Uh, this one uh, just listed today. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 2,549 square feet, 13,000 square foot lot. Beautiful. Listed for 1.3 million. And this one was built in 1984. Let's take a look at the pictures real quick. Uh, nice. Looks like a one story, two car garage, beautifully maintained, uh, landscaping. Really nice. That's the, that's what I love about Mill Creek is, you know, a lot of these neighborhoods, a lot of these homes are just like meticulously cared for on the exterior. So, you know, you just driving through neighborhoods, you just have, you know, just beautiful homes everywhere. You know, even if they're not like the hugest, luxurious of homes, um, you know, they're just, they're all, they're all taken care of. Like I'd say 99% of them are taken care of very nicely. Um, so let's take a look at the next one looks like we have a couple more condos and another single family home up here so a little smaller single family home four bedroom one and three quarter bath 1618 square feet uh, nice size lot just over 10,000 square feet listed for eight hundred thousand dollars and this one was built in 1980 and looks like a split entry home I'm guessing really see look at I mean look at the lawn it's, it's beautiful you gotta love that nice driveway really really nice driveway this house has been cared for I could imagine it's gonna sell for you know a little bit over 800,000 based on you know let's look at the inside real quick I guess but not the biggest of homes but really well cared for you know this is this is a really nice little starter home right here um, now let's check out these last two condos real quick so we have one uh, this is a, a town home, actually. Two bedroom, two and a quarter bath, 1,212 square feet, $550,000. Looks like you have your own garage. That's nice. I like that. Built in 2015, $427 per month on your HOA dues for this one. So 
townhome living, vertical living. If you don't mind stairs, this might be a good option for you, but you know, that's sometimes what people don't like about townhomes is everything's kind of stacked up and you know, you, you gotta climb stairs on a daily basis. So if you don't like stairs, stay away from townhomes because they have lots of them. Um, let's check out this last one here. Looks like we have another townhome and this one is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,684 square feet, uh, listed for 750, uh, built in 2015. You have 422, uh, you have $422 per month on your HOA dues for this one. So um, nice, looks like it's an end unit. End units on the townhomes, condos are always a little bit more desirable because you have that extra window, uh, extra wall of windows on the end. You know, sometimes if you're smashed in the middle. See like this window right here. If you're in a middle unit, you don't have windows on this wall. So just a little bit more natural light, typically on these end unit condos and townhomes. So yeah, nice place, nice place. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of what's on the market right now. Not a terrible amount of homes, but we're, we're kind of getting into spring and we should see that, you know, the, the number of listings increase, you know, we're still kind of trudging along through the winter inventory lows that we that we've been dealing with so hopefully that'll change we'll get back to to normal here and uh we'll see what happens so mill creek great place to live you know probably my favorite part about mill creek is the mill creek town center all of the dining and shopping options that you have there. Uh, you got the workout studios, you got LA Fitness, the gym, and you know, just really, just everything that you would need right there in the Mill Creek Town Center. And you know, the neighborhoods, I also really like the neighborhoods up here in Mill Creek. Really, you know, you can find some large, large homes on nice, well-maintained, manicured lots, a lot of pride and ownership in the neighborhoods within Mill Creek and, you know, the great schools, you know, you can't forget about great schools that they have up here in the Everett School District, right here in Mill Creek, you know, just a, a fantastic family friendly, but even if you're single, you know, and you don't have kids or a family, you know, this is still a great spot for you great option and you know if you're thinking about making a move and want to get more information about mill creek or maybe you realize that mill creek isn't for you but you just need a little bit of direction on where might be a good spot for you give us a call shoot us a text send us an email our contact information is popping up right here it's never too early to reach out whether you're moving next week next year give us a call shoot us a text send us an email set up that buyer consultation. We'll get you pointed in the right direction and make sure that you are moving to the perfect spot for you. So reach out, we'd love to help you, help you make that smooth move right here to Seattle. And hey, if you want even more information on what it's like living in Seattle, check out the playlist that's popping up right now. Best videos that are out there on YouTube about what it's like to live, work, eat, play right here in Seattle. Click on the playlist that's popping up. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.